wait to tell everyone her news. Mummy, Daddy, George! Hello, Peppa. Hello. Let us start. First off, choose what kind of clothes you will wear. What color do you want them to be? Great! Now choose the animal you want to be. Good choice! What color do you want to be? Would you like to wear glasses? Welcome to Peppa Pig's Town. You'll have a lot of fun here. We're going to meet Peppa in a moment, but first, let's try walking. Use the stick to move around. What a nice flower. Why don't you get close to it? Now, press a button to touch it. Remember to use this button when it appears on the screen. The butterfly is flying away. Let's follow it. What's that? There's a fence blocking the way. Not to worry, you can use the same button to open the gate. Sometimes you will need to move things out of the way to keep going. Remember to use this button when it appears on the screen. Hello! Welcome to the town! Where are you going, little one? To talk to Miss Rabbit, walk up to her and press the action button. Are you going to see Peppa? She's just up the hill. Keep walking and you'll be there in a minute. Bye now! Well done! Are you going to see Peppa? She's just up the hill. Keep walking and you'll be there in a minute. Bye now. Well done. You've learned how to move around in Peppa Pig's town. friend has come to visit Peppa. How exciting! <laughs> oh goody, you're here! Welcome! We're going to have a lovely time! You're here, you're here! We're going to have the best day ever! My room. Do you like it? I have lots of toys in the basket. Hello there. What are you two up to in here? Mummy, Mummy! We're playing with the 
toys in my basket. I think George would like to play with you too. Impossible. George, I'm busy with my new friend. Ooh. Peppa, I'm sure you can all play together, the three of you. Why don't you play tag? How do you play tag? You have to chase each other, and when you catch someone, they're it. Okay. You're it. <laughs> okay, then. I'll leave you to it. I wonder if Daddy needs help in the kitchen. This is my Daddy. Why don't we say hello to him? Hmm. Hello, Peppa. I see you have a new friend. Hello again, you two. Are you having a nice time? Do you want to help? Excellent! I have just the task for you. Why don't you sit here and mix this bowl for me? Well done! You're a great mixer. We're going to make a lovely salad with these vegetables. What are you doing, George? Dinosaur! <laughs> oh, would you mind turning it back on so I can read? Thank you. Like Mr. Potato, <laughs> Pepper does. Bummy Pig, have you seen my glasses? I can't find them anywhere. I don't think I have, Daddy Pig. Pepper, why don't you and your new friend look for Daddy Pig's glasses? They have to be somewhere around the house. Yes, yes, Mummy. We will find the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Let's search the... Let's look for the glasses! We should return Daddy's glasses before we go outside.
love you. That's great, Pepper. Thank you. And thank you. You are a great friend to Pepper. Super Potato! Here's the power of vegetables! Have you been to Potato City? I really want to go. You can visit more often. <laughs> Go visit my granny and grandpa. The house is just ahead. Let's keep walking this way. You have arrived at the playgroup, a place to learn and play with Pepper and her friends. Hello everyone, this is my new friend. Hello! It will look great on Pepper's wall. What a lovely drawing! Why don't you take it and hang it in Pepper's house? Three, two, one. Splendid. Now we go from big to small. Two, one, three. Now it's all jumbled up. Why don't you try it again? One, two, three. This goes from small to big. Very good. Quite that old, George. Dinosaur. Do you think it would look good on me? 
Do you think it would look good on me? Ooh, it looks very nice. I think I would make a great queen. I would sit around all day and eat all <laughs> the ice cream I wanted. It appears that you and Pepper are now royalty and you can have anything you ask for. Is there anything you would like, Your Majesties? Yes, we want ice creams, please. Of course, Queen Pepper. I'm sure you would make a great queen, Pepper. Yes, George, it's a real dinosaur. One that lived many, many years ago. <laughs> dinosaur. Are you with us, George? Dinosaur! It seems that George has found his favourite room. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Are you here to join me on the trip to the moon? Jump aboard the rocket train. Mr. Rabbit is the tour guide. He knows a lot about the universe. Are we really going to the moon? No, Pepper. It's just pretend. That's right, Pepper. It's just a pretend moon. Now, all passengers, hold on tight to your seats. We are about to take off. Three, two, one, blast off! All right then, does anybody know what these things hanging from the ceiling are? Are they planets? Precisely. And do you know the name of the planets? Oh, um, not really. Oh, I know one, the Earth! Very good, Daddy Pig. This is the Earth, we also have Venus. Mars, Neptune. What's that? Ah, this is a satellite. Satellites fly around the world so we can have TVs and the internet. Really? But how do they do that? It's all magic. And we've reached the end. Please exit the rocket and continue to the next room where you'll see the moon. Welcome to the moon. Gravity on the moon is much weaker, so we can jump much higher. Ooh. The moon has less gravity than the Earth, which means you'd feel lighter and be able to jump higher. Whee! Try it out. Strap in and jump up.
It's a wonderful day to get some good views from up in the hot air balloon.